Wow, there is a lot to talk about. I know I've been gone for a while, but even in just this last week, it feels like this last week was a month worth of news. There's like bad thing after bad thing. And you're like, why aren't we talking about that? And you're like, oh, well, it's pretty bad that someone that wants to be VP like killed her own puppy. South Dakota Governor Kristi Noem is oh. defending her decision wow. to kill her 14-month-old female dog, Cricket. It's a puppy, actually. Kill so, a puppy, yeah. Yeah. This person, Kristi Noem, she didn't even write the book, okay? I assume the ghostwriter was like, mm, are you sure you want to include that? Like, maybe that, maybe we have, we can find a different thing to talk about how tough you are, how you make tough decisions. <laughs> and then she's like, nope, it and definitely like, no. needs to be in there. That is the story. <laughs> that is it. People will relate to this. And like, but that's I right. mean, but there's so much unpacked there. Like, she thinks people will relate to that, but not just people. She thinks MAGA. This is more about what she thinks about MAGA voters than almost anything I've heard, which is, you That's know what, what bothers, I mean, it's yes. not what bothers me the most because I'm a human, but, but in the story, if you zoom out, to me, it's that. It's that I can tell the story and no one is going to, that people are going to, more people that I need to like it are going to like it versus hate it. And mm -hmm. it's. It's really upsetting to me. That's the part that I can't quite process. Because, like, I mean, I think they're cruel and heartless. I mean, Jasmine, you said in our group chat, it's true. I mean, we, we talk about all the things they have done, like limits and and on books and women and children and all this stuff. But, I mean, that's not even the point of, like, that she thinks. Because we – so we know who they are. I mean, like, that's very clear. Right. But to think, like, this is a story I need to tell about myself because it's really going to resonate with people. Oh, my God extremism is sexy for the MAGA crowd mm -hmm. and, you know, and cruelty. So, and, and cruelty and, mm -hmm. you know, uh, being abusive and cruel and just going to the absolute extremes in any situation is what is expected if you want to be the nominee on a GOP ticket. But she has tried to say like, well, this is how we do it in rural areas and you all just don't understand. And she has had no backup that I have seen. Like I have seen Tommy Lauren be like, no, it's not. Like, this is not how we do it. Like, this is not, like I've not seen anybody come out to defend her on this at all. Again, she, Christy, no, this is what she thinks MAGA rural people do. You just shoot puppies for sport. And I don't think there is any Democrat I've seen say something as cruel about MAGA people as Christy Nome did by thinking that that was going to connect with rural MAGA voters. I know this like tops the deplorable thing, right? I, I mean, basically, I was Christy like, Nome just said MAGA people are murderous, like they're, beyond they're deplorable. deplorable. They are <laughs> murderous uh uh, animal abusers, <laughs> like that is their brand now, but it's on brand. I, I, it's crazy as it sounds, it is on brand. It is an extreme. Shooting a dog is extreme. Banning books is extreme. Banning abortion is extreme. Defunding schools is extreme. Defunding Medicare is extreme. Like not feeding children school lunches because you think their parents are going to use the money to that they save to buy drugs. That is extreme. So as crazy as it sounds, y'all, it's kind of on brand for MAGA. It's kind of on brand for the GOP as a whole right now in their current platform, which tends to lean toward extremes. This is a uh, Way to come back on a depressing note, Amanda. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> but no, so it, this sorry. has been, I mean, we're talking about things that are, you know, horrible. But I, I do think that now might be a good time to kind of pivot to something a little more positive. Um, well, my toast of joy is going to be my dogs. <laughs> oh, <laughs> uh, maybe a little on the nose, but I just love them oh, so much. Good. They bring... They bring us so much joy. Our... Speaking of dogs. I know. Amanda's, Amanda's dog, dog is like, I'm here for it. I love this toast to joy. <laughs> uh, I just think our dogs, I don't know. We were we were just talking about it this weekend, like how happy they make us and how much they add to the chaos of our family. And um, it's really great. So they're my toast to joy. I love that. Oh. I'm going to go give Stella a hug after this oh, because of that. Stella. Just enjoy. That's amazing.